First appointed by Mayor Richard M. Daley in 2000, 37th Ward Alderman Emma Mitz has become a forceful, vocal presence in the City Council. She proudly brought Chicago's first Walmart to her ward, which she says created new jobs and opportunity that wouldn't have come otherwise. I'm Mike Fouché, publisher of AlderTrack, and this is our Meet a Chicago Candidate series. So, Alderman Mitz, you've been doing this job almost 15 years. It has been 15. I just it's... celebrated on January the 12th. Okay. Years. So why would you want to do this for another four years? Well, you know, I have a lot that I've accomplished, but there's a lot more, and I'm still energetic, and I have the fight in me to continue to move our neighborhood forward, so I'm working very hard at that. Uh, okay, well, would you consider yourself a Emmanuel or Fioretti or Garcia or Wilson supporter? I am a people supporter. I am the resident of the 37th Ward supporters. Okay, so you, have you been talking to the different campaigns? Have they been calling you? Yes, in fact, I work with the mayor, of course. I've worked with Mayor uh, Daly, mm -hmm. and I'm currently working with Mayor Rahm Emanuel. Mm -hmm. As any um, leaders would do, mm -hmm. they work with the leaders to help affect changes. You don't work against the leaders. Okay. Um, what would you say is your most important citywide issue? Well, as you know, I'm the chairman of the License Committee, License Consumer Protection Committee, and I um, just recently championed a market that was untouched in terms of the ride share uh, company to help generate revenue uh, in trying to fill some of these budget gaps that was just out there. Mm -hmm. um, then we looked at the food truck industries. I'm proud of those accomplishments that we've been able to or interact with under this new Mayor Emanuel uh, being a part of his team. And then the minimum wage, of course. We dealt with the Walmart just coming in the door, and recently we just interact uh, increasing the minimum wage. And I thought that was uh, really exciting to me, but I guess um, sometimes some um, would say never is enough, so we'll keep working. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you told the Sun-Times editorial board that you support continuing the TIF program. But doesn't that direct money away from your residences, your residents? Well, I continue, but I need um, it to be reformed. We need to continue the TIF program. There are good programs come out of TIF program, such as the SPIP program. I mentioned that a lot of the small businesses in my neighborhood use those TIF funds to do um, work on their property, increase expand their business and which brings jobs into the neighborhood. So I support the program. I just think that we need to look at an overhaul of the program and how the tip dollars are being utilized. Okay. Well, thank you very much for joining us. You are so welcome, and thank you for having me. All right. You can learn more about the Alderman Emma Mitz campaign and almost 200 others by subscribing to our newsletter at aldertrack.com, by listening to the series on Rivet Radio, or by subscribing to the series on YouTube. Thank you very much. More great stuff to come.